All right, Slackmaster fans, we're going to watch a strange one here. I think this is about a killer television. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I can't remember for sure, but it's it's a wonky TV, and the movie is The Twonky. Let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you a strange story about a thing out of space. It may frighten you, it may amuse you, but this may happen to you. So it's the early 1950s and a guy is getting a TV installed for the first time. We will now go inside my house where I am having a pleasant conversation with Carolyn, my wife. Meet Carrie West, played by Hans Conry. Channel 5, Pantomime Win a Ham Quiz. Channel 8, The Old New Time Movies. As Carrie starts to chew a cigarette, we learn that this uh, thing, TV, isn't normal. You okay? A bill collector came by to collect some money, I think for the television which he carried didn't have, but then they walk into the room and look at that. That wasn't there before. But can the TV do dishes? The answer is yes. So he's going to try to figure out what the heck is in this machine. But they can't open it. That television set is not a hallucination. That's a twonky. Twonky? I had twonkies when I was a child. A twonky is something you do not know what it is. He goes back to the store where he got it. Apparently can hypnotize people as well. Please tell me what's happened. No, don't play. You tell me what's happened here. No. Dial phones too. Hello, hello, this is robot seven four three B three two experimental model series K seven two reporting. Message for the Bureau of Entertainment. Time into ours, it fell into a television production factory line. 
or into that television shop. With that super intelligence, it knew at once where it was and the danger to it. So it immediately changed its form. Turns out that hundred dollars is counterfeit. Ninety-five dollars are the sweetest counterfeit bills you ever saw. Ninety-five dollars. You, you. Yeah, I, I know you paid for the television with it. Alcatraz is calling, brother. No, no, it wasn't. I was the clock in it, and now I. Of all my emails, I'm a bureau of entertainment. Who is this? Who am I talking to? Where are you talking from? This is for three, don't make one three come at once, my client will be home soon. There's a twonky in this house. But you're right. I may be wrong, but it'll be my kind of wrong. It's my God-given right to be wrong. Go back! Go back! Good morning, Sir Precious. Huh? I have come for the set. Set? Television. Two of them. Store sent me over for the busted one. But the TV decides to hide. Is the TV oh, deadly oh, also? Cool. Okay, poison yourself. But leave 86.56 on the table. Well, that's a con man. Try to tell me a no good television. <laughs> Or does it just remove clothing? He decides he's going to get rid of the television. Push it off a cliff inside the car. You'd think he'd want to just throw the television over the side instead of the car as well, but... Twonky isn't going to let him. He pulls over and leaves the car on the side of the road, hitches a ride with this woman. But unbeknownst to them... They've got a third passenger. Which apparently takes over control of the vehicle. Twonky was allegedly smashed, but all right, let's talk about the Twonky. This is a movie that I had a bootleg VHS tape of that I got in the early 2000s. I don't know where I acquired it or how. Um, had the crappiest uh, homemade box art. It's purple blotch of shit. But um, this looks much prettier, by the way, which is also a DVD-R, not real. I didn't make this one, actually. I think I found this on eBay. Somebody was selling it. Looks like they got the source from uh, Turner Classic Movies. But anyway, uh, strange movie. I don't even know where to begin with this one. It came out in 1953, I think. It stars Hans Conried, which you might remember. He played Wrongway Feldman in a couple of episodes of Gilligan's Island. Um, this was uh, about 15 years before that, 10, 15 years or so. Um, he plays this guy named Kerry West. He's getting his first television installed, 1953. Like I said, that was early TV days. Uh, but his TV uh, seems to be possessed, has a mind of its own. It can walk. 
Uh, it can talk, it can dial phones, it can wash dishes, it can light your cigarette or your pipe. Um, it's very strange. And he gets this guy who comes over and looks at it and the guy says, that's a twonky. And he's like, what the hell is a twonky? He's like, oh, twonky is something that we just, you just don't know what it is. And so <laughs> there you go. And then um, after a while, he just decides he's got to get rid of this TV. He doesn't want it around. It's causing too many problems. There was one lady in the house who was kind of hitting it a little bit, uh, ended up zapping her clothes away. So she had to run out of the house naked, um, which we don't see, obviously, in 1953. Um, so he decides to take it back to the store. Or the store refuses to take it back. Um, eventually, he decides to, uh, he's going to put it in a car and run the car off a cliff. Uh, but uh, the car, I'm sorry, is controlled by the Twonky at this point, And the Twonky refuses to uh, let itself be pushed off the cliff. So he abandons the car, hops in the car with this lady who's driving a, looks like a little beetle of some sort. Um, and then the Twonky hitches a ride on the back of that. They're not aware of it. Twonky takes over their car, causes it to crash. Allegedly, we learn in the hospital later on, uh, after he's recovering, that uh, the Twonky was completely smashed. However, some guy comes in with a brand new television for him, which looks exactly like the old one. And um, there you go. That's how our movie ends. We're led to believe early in the movie that this Twonky was some sort of alien space creature that came down to Earth and then assumed... Uh, I don't want to say human form, because it wasn't human form, but it assumed the form of an inanimate object, in this case, a television. Um, but yeah, what the, was the purpose of this movie? I don't know. It was just a just a weird, weird movie. Strange. Um, never been released on DVD officially, never been released on VHS. Apparently it does show up in Turner Classic Movies, or at least it did one time. Um, but you can, uh, if you search around a bit, you can find copies of the Twonky around. I did. So anyway, that's it. The Twonky... I don't know. Has anybody else seen this thing? Maybe it's streaming on YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of these types of films are. But check it out. Let me know what you think about it. If you've seen this relic, nobody has, right? Nobody else has seen The Twonky besides me? I don't know. I've seen it twice now. That's enough. Check it out. Leave some comments. The Twonky. Bye.